Trojan man. And they saw a fire. Fire! As, as they left Carthage. What a fire. And they were confused, but they headed to Sicily after the storm. Father and Kisis, this is for you. Oh wow, that snake must be your spirit. Now on to the sacrifices. Since you're so nice enough to let us stay in your hometown of Sicily, I think we'd be uh, more than willing to have peace for nine days and then have the games here, if that's all right with you, of course. Oh yeah, that's a great honor to your father, and I'll offer tripods, garlands, gold, silver, and armor as the gifts. My father would be very pleased. Welcome to ESPN 8 The Ocho. This is Jake Miller. We have an exciting day of boat racing, fort racing, boxing, and archery. Prizes include, but are not limited to, tripods, garlands, gold, silver, and armor. And they're off! To start, Gaius in his boat, Chimera, is in the lead, followed by Cloanthus and Scylla, and Mezentius and Sergestus in last. Oh my gosh, but here comes Gaius' bad steering. And he falls to third as he throws Minotis overboard. And Cloanthus passes him due to his prayers. Sir Gustus goes down! And as we approach the finish, we have the winner as Cloanthus, followed by Mezentius and Gaius and. We ready! We ready! Come on! Come on! We ready! We ready! Come on! Alright. Here comes the front runners, Nysus and Sirius. Oh, and Nysus slips over animal entrails! Oh, he is having none of it. He is taking down Silius with him. And there's a lot of pain on the course right now. Oh, and here comes Uriolus to take advantage of Nysus and Salius' trip. Oh, showing no sportsmanship there, and he jumps all the way to first. And after the fall, Helamis, followed closely by Diores, come in second and third to take advantage of the fall, and that is how they finish. Aeneas, what is this? You can't have animal entrails all over the course. I'm tripping all over the place. Yeah, man, but that was bogus that you tripped me. I would've won. Oh, yeah. We need something for our bad luck. You'll get lion hides for your bad luck. Thanks, bro. In the left corner, we have the young and flaunting Dyrus. And in the other corner, we have the humble and the older Antelus. And tell us, since you won, here's a prize for you. You deserve it. Here's a bull. This isn't a bull, dude. This is bull. <laughs> this is for the gods. By the way, I'm never boxing again. Yo, I did it! I did it! <laughs> yeah! Uh. And the archery begins. Here's their target, a bird hanging from a mess. Here's our first contensus. Let's see how he does. Look at that stance. Oh, misses terribly. And here's Minestius. Oh, and he hits the string. Here's Eurytus looking good in his nice scarf. He hits the bird. Here's wow, King of Castile. Arrow so fast it turned into fire and disappeared. Although you didn't hit the bird, surely you deserve a prize. <laughs> our first winner, Coanthus on the Skilla, powered through, prayed, they really deserve this one. Thank you, Agnes. For the winner of the foot race, we got Uriasis, great job sneaking past the trip, guys, you really deserve this one. 
Thank you. For uh, the winner of the boxing match, and tell us your humbleness, oldness, and passion won you this medal. Great job. Thank you, Aeneas. You're welcome. Acestes, even though you weren't the first to hit the bird, your arrow catching on fire was just as impressive. Here's your medal. Thanks, Aeneas. Back to the foot race. Nice is for your bad luck. Here's a medal. Salius for your extra bad luck. Here's some wine. Show me your genitive, your genitive, okay, show me your genitive, your